Well, hey, welcome back to the Disney Princess Legacy Challenge. So, our husband left us, but we do have seven children now. No more fussy toddlers to worry about, which is good. So, yeah, situation is, it's like, uh, it's Saturday, so I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward time till they're all at school. Actually, Snow, I think you need to rustle up some dinner for them. I might redo this house a little bit. Um just so it's a little bit easier to get them all to like eat together and all of that shit. I might need to make the house a bit bigger, so yeah, that's next on the list. But I'll wait till all the fuckers are at school before I do that, so I'm just going to fast forward time until they can finally bugger off and go to school. <laughs> There's some stuff here, Cinderella, that you need to clean up, really. Taking the piss. The kids are all insecure, body shaming from weight insult. <laughs> so the three of them are just sat there in a triangle, just ripping it on each other. Snow White, why did you raise such uh, mean kids? And this one's just been body shamed as well. All he did was walk past. Oh dear. So are you cooking dinner for everyone, Snow, or just for yourself? I think I could hazard a guess. Yeah, there's one plate there. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, the kids have got to learn self-sufficiency somehow. Even Cinderella's managed to get a mouldy bit of cake. Oh, Cinderella's doing the washing up, although she did just break the sink, but never mind. It was the intention behind it. You are going to need to mop this up, though, Cinderella. Get your ass in gear. That's it. Let's get rid of these um, toddler beds. Put some more bed beds in there. There we go, that's better. Now some of you can actually sleep. Why don't any of you go to bed? Go to sleep. Stop being so annoying. Can at least some of you go to bed? There we go, that's better. Bit more peace and quiet now. I wonder how good her relationship is with her, with her kids. Does she even like them? Yeah. Cinderella's her favourite though, by far. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Cinderella, I don't want to bother you, but there's a plate there, so I think you better stop eating and clean it up. And then clean that one up too. And then clean that up that you just left on the floor. Lazy slag. Is that kid drinking in the bathtub? I didn't even know they could uh, multitask like that. Impressive. I have to say, I am impressed. Oh, Snow, got into your casual wear. Am I the only one who never pays attention to those? <laughs> When I first bought Parenthood, I was like, every single one, like, ooh, ooh, and now I don't even read them. Cinderella, there's a book here that you can put away. Oh, is that a puddle on the floor? Come on, Cinders, make your way over. Clean it up. Oh, I feel so bad for Snow. She really did love her prince. Now he's fucked off. Ah, oh, sad. Oh, the kids are even doing their own cooking. Ah, oh, see, that's what happens. Leave them to their own devices. They all learn. This kid, Dylan, he's just always angry. <laughs> he's just an angry kid. Ah, Snow's just kind of dropped off. Is that another vampire? Well, you can fuck off. Another mess for you to clean up there, Cinderella. That's right. That's right. While you're up, Snow, why don't you repair this castle? Or not. Okay, fine. <laughs> hey, the castle's fixed. Well done, Snow. Turns out you might be good at this single mother thing after all. Okay, it's school time, finally. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Fucking off you go. Bye-bye, kids. Bye-bye. Make sure you all go. I don't want any stragglers. That's right, that's right. Oh, how nice it is to get rid of those fucking kids. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Right, okay, let's make a few building adjustments, shall we? Yeah, I think so, I think so. Okay, so first things first, move that all the way out. Can I do anything about that muddy puddle though? And then I might just delete this small table and chairs because the family is so big now. They kind of need like a massive one, don't they really? So I get one of these big long ones. That'll do. One, two, three. Okay, enough seats for everybody. Okay, so the bathroom is accessible. The kitchen is accessible. I really hope that puddle doesn't cause any problems. I don't know. I guess we'll see. And then the bedrooms, I kind of need to do something about that, don't I? I mean, there are five beds down here. 
And the kids are still getting upstairs, clearly, because they've made a mess. So I'm kind of thinking I could probably stick some more beds here so that there is literally a bed for everybody. Yeah, that will do. Okay, good. There we go. There we go. Bit more space now, Snow. That's a bit better, isn't it? Stop walking around the house naked. <laughs> as soon as her kids are gone, she's like, right, now I'm going to walk around the house naked. Can't blame her, really, I suppose. No way. Well, I suppose if the prince is away... Also, um, I realised that when Cinderella's story starts, she would be a teenager, but her mum has to be dead. So I'm going to have to find a way to uh, kill Snow White. Kind of figured she died from the poison apple, so if I could get her to have like a food accident, like with that puffer fish thing, then I might do that. God knows. You're right there, Snow, just having a little cry. I don't blame you. It is what it is. Oh, <laughs> completely satisfied from self woohoo. <laughs> oh, bless her. Right, the kids will be back at three. I'm going to get them to all do their homework. As soon as they get back, I want them to be A kids. They've all come from, they've all returned home with the project. Fucking brilliant. Right, well, I'll tell you what, you are all doing your homework. Do they not have homework? Some of them have homework, some of them don't. Oh, this fucker's made a mess. You're gonna have to clean it up, Cinderella. Let's just get you all working on your little projects. That'll keep you busy. There we go. Oh, look at them all doing their little, their little projects. There we go. You'll be A students in no time. Hopefully none of you get struck by lightning. That's it, my little workers. Now they're starting to act like seven little dwarfs. That's right, kids. Doing well. Snow's just kind of wandering around, checking on them, making sure they're doing what they need to be doing. Okay, so Cinderella, you're done. Well done. Stick it in your inventory. Okay, you're done. Stick that in your inventory. Good job, good job. It's five of you still that aren't finished yet, though. Okay. Stick that one in your inventory. Good job. Well done, everyone. You're all doing super well. Oh, this proved to be pretty efficient. Hey, you finished yours. It looks like a bit of a mess, but never mind. Okay, this kid's done his. And you've done your homework. So it's just you left. And you're done. There we go. Well done, everyone. You've all done your little projects. Right, Snow, do you want to serve up dinner for everyone? Serve dinner. Uh... Franks and beans, why not? Go for it. There we go, they're all sat at the table nicely. Things are starting to come up Mill House. So call to meal and then grab yourself a serving. There we go. So everyone can just sit down and have a bit of dinner. There we go, perfect. So now none of you can complain that you're fucking hungry because you've all been fed. That's right, that's right, like a happy family. Oh, there's a puddle there, Cinderella. I think you better mop that up. And then clean up the plates. Clean everything up. And then maybe, just maybe, we should all go to sleep. What do you think? Think that's a good idea? I fucking think so. Okay, they're all going to go to school. Hopefully you come back with better grades. You've all done your project, so hopefully, hopefully you do. Right, bye-bye, bye-bye. Scott is currently at school. Skipping school will result in bad grades. Should Scott... No, he should not skip school. Get the fuck out of here. Scott, go to fucking school, mate. Don't be a bell end. There we go. There we go. Just like that, all the kids are at school. Okay, what's the state of the house like? Oh, it looks pretty clean and tidy, pretty spick and span. Cinderella's doing her job well. Well, the kids will be home soon. They'll be home in, like, what, two hours? So, you know what, Snow? You just have a bit of me time. Just enjoy yourself. Maybe have a wank like you did yesterday. Just see how you feel. No judgement, babe. No judgement. Oh, apparently it's scorching hot. They're having a heat wave. Well, what do you know? The kids back from school? Annoying school day. Right, let's take a look at your grades. You're still at C. Fucking, okay, brilliant. Well, you need to go and do your fucking homework then. What about you? C student, great. So you're all still C students then. Thing is, these kids aren't coming back with any homework. That's the trouble. Don't have any fucking homework. 
I really don't understand why none of these kids are bringing home homework books. Do I need to buy one? Homework, okay. Right, I'll buy five of those. So where's the homework book? Right, so that can go there. Oh, did I buy the wrong homework books? Did I buy, like, secondary school homework books? Grade school homework, okay. <laughs> Try again. Okay, now you can do homework. You already have homework and you should be doing it now. You already have homework. You don't have homework, so you can... So you can do homework. You can do homework. So can you and... So can you. There you go, fuckers. Do your homework. And hopefully tomorrow you come home with better grades. Why aren't you doing anything? Oh, did you not get a homework book? That's okay. We'll get you a homework book. Don't worry. There you go. You do your homework now. Such studious children sat down all doing the homework. They are very well behaved for seven children. They all kind of... I'm glad they kind of, you know, they sit together, they eat together... They do their little projects together. Things are, things are working out okay. I'm enjoying this. Really enjoying this moment. I notice you've got up. Is it because you've finished your homework? Yes, you have. Okay, good job. Well done. Well done. Well, seeing as everyone's completing their homework, I think, Snow, you should probably serve dinner. Let's have a high-energy protein plate. Ah, oh, Cinderella's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. Oh, good girl. Cute. And then you've got the kids that are just always angry. <laughs> I think I gave two of them the hot-headed trait. So two of them are just constantly pissed off. <laughs> we all finished our homework? That's it. Call everyone to meal. Everyone needs to come and eat. That way they can't whinge and moan that they haven't eaten. I'm really proud of Snow. She's really taken parenting in her stride, you know? She was a bit worried at first. But look, I mean, she's making nice high-protein meals. She's got the kids all sorted. Cinderella, why aren't you eating? Grab yourself a plate, girl. You deserve it. Yeah, things are just going pretty well. And the kids, I've given them all, like, a negative trait so that Cinderella does all of the cleaning. But these kids are so good, man. Like, they just keep... They just automatically clean up after themselves. They are perfect little angels. Right, I think everyone's eaten now, so you can go and put that away. Scott has entered the picky eaters phase. Oh, fuck's sake. Cinderella, do you want to come put this plate away? Yeah, that's it. Here we go. See, how often do you see this? How often do you see a family sat around a table just chatting to one another? You know? It's nice. It's nice to see. There's snow sat at the top. Look, head of the house. Just like it is in the movie. I think parenting-wise, the first generation, Snow's generation, is always going to be the hardest because you have seven little fuckers to take care of. And I'm pretty sure that there aren't any princesses after that that have any more than, like, three kids. So, yeah, I think it's only going to go up from here. I've got a real positive attitude about this challenge. Oh, there's a mess there. Cinderella, I think you better pull your finger out. Clean it up. Oh, it doesn't let her clean it up. It lets her cook, though, but just not clean up. No, no, that's for the adults. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm not going to go with the idea that the prince ran off. I'm going to go with the idea that he died, because he doesn't exist anymore, so... And, you know, with that, I do think he would be very proud of Snow for everything she's done, raising seven kids and making them all, you know, tolerable. Gary's become responsible. Oh, and they're all going to go to school in a sec as well. That's good. Right, kids, go to school. That's it. Round up, round up. Pile on out. See you later. Enjoy. Have a good day. Now we can finally get back to wanking. Clean that up. Oh, the kids are back. All right, fuckers, what's the damage? Let's take a look. Gary, you're a B student. Good job. Well done. You can do your homework. Donnie? Another B student. Good job. Well done. Do your homework. Angry Scott. B student. Okay. Fair enough. Do your homework. Cinderella. B student. Okay. Good. Good. Can do your homework. Okay. So I'm thinking, I, I think they're all at B right now. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay. That's it. Sit down. Get the homework done. Good job. Right. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I will. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.